All right, today on Random Action Carving, we're going to be rock carving. We're going to uh, I need a little uh, end table beside my uh, couch. Love seat, I've made a little TV room, and uh, I needed a little something to set my soda on. So uh, I'm going to make a little table. I've had this log for a long time. It's got a lot of interesting features, and I've thought about carving it a lot, but uh, it's hollow inside. So, and it has a lot of character all by itself. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and I'm going to try to make a interesting top for the top of it. Uh, so we're going to work on that. So here we go. Okay, here we are. We're uh, taking the top piece. I'm just I have a piece of uh, butcher block. It's maple. Uh, it's inch and three quarters thick, maybe. And I'm just uh, shaping it to make kind of a mushroom top for that uh, log that I have. Just using various uh, cutting tools, sanders and grinders and whatnot to uh, kind of give it a mushroomy type shape around the outside edge. Trying to stay up into the dust cloud. I was keeping the uh, middle of it uh, flat because I want to be able to set a uh, drink or a uh, ice cream bowl or whatever on it when I'm done so trying to keep that center flat and uh, use the outside edges and give it as much shape as I could around the outside edges I was just making basically a mushroom top and this is the underside of it I set the log upside down on the on the center of it there and kind of traced around it that gave me the center size of the log and then I'm taking this uh, reciprocating chisel and piece and I was just cutting those uh, grooves in it with a V gouge and this is the uh, Fordham just cutting a uh, shape in around the edge kind of like you'd see on a mushroom Just kind of hurrying through the, uh, just shaping it up here. You could do this any way you want. If you were making a little table like this, I decided uh, it needed something else on it, so I decided to put a little lizard on there. And I'm just going to uh, carve him in, just using the technique that I use on a lot of the carvings. That's a uh, basically just carve in straight around it straight down on all the sides I just drew it in freehand um, look up a top view of whatever you want to look at whatever you want to carve on Google images try to find a nice top view that you like and then uh, just draw it out on there get pretty close to the sizes and then just cut in straight down in around it that's what I'm doing here, just getting the uh, depth and getting it worked out and trying to get it uh, straight down in around it and give me something to carve. And you'll see I'm using a lot of different uh, bits and tools and stuff. I just uh, whatever I think will take that wood out of there the fastest, the easiest. That's that's what I use. Uh, experiment if you're doing a, if you want to do something like this, just experiment with what you what tools you have, and find out what removes the wood the fastest. And uh, this is going into end grain on a maple uh, cutting board, so or butcher top. So it's uh pretty hard wood right there once I had his uh, profile cut out then you just start rounding off all the edges and 
making his uh, legs go the way they need to go and his little toes down onto the surface of the wood. I use a uh, pretty rough bit for uh, still uh, roughing him in, knocking the corners off of everything, just remove as much wood as fast as you can, uh, try not to go too far anywhere. And pretty quick he's uh, taking shape. You see, I keep jumping around from uh, leg to leg and foot to foot, and, and uh, then I'll go back along his tail, and all that all that does is, uh, if I work on the individual legs like that and jump back and forth to the different ones, I can keep them pretty close to the same scale. So that's just a just the way I use to kind of whittle them all down to the same size. Now that I'm getting it, now that I have it all, all finished up, I'm going to have to go out and get a little bit of ice cream and try it out. You can uh, <clears throat> do this and then uh, take the whole top of the block down with a router and leave him sticking out proud um, and make him look like he's just uh, sitting right on the top of a piece of wood. But I didn't have a router and I didn't want to use up all my wood doing that. So I just, uh, <clears throat> you'll see as I get him dug out there, then I take a uh, one of these uh, bits, it's a little bit finer. Uh, sanding bit and smooth out all the wood around it still looks like he's uh, just kind of sitting there on top but it's not you don't use up all your wood I nearly cut his nose off a couple times. It was kind of aggressive right there on the end of his nose. <clears throat> Here I uh, went down to a little bit finer bit with the uh, smaller spinny tool there. Get in and start sanding stuff a little finer and uh, making the toes a lot skinnier. Get in underneath of the legs, actually uh, poked through underneath of a couple of the legs on it. There was a lot of sanding that I did that uh, wasn't on the video. A lot of, a lot of finishing, getting rid of all the uh, marks from the cutting tools. Uh, that takes a lot of time. No matter what you do, uh, you're always going to have a lot of finishing. And the, uh, but the more cut marks you can take out of it, the better it's going to look. 
here I am with a little bit finer bit and you can see I'm, I'm taking off all the uh, the rough stuff around it smoothing it out quite a bit digging in underneath of the tail and underneath of the body If you don't want to go out and buy a whole set of those burrs, what you do like I did, I just uh, buy uh, one or two of them a year, and before you know it, you're carving for eight or ten years, and uh, you have a whole set of them. <laughs> the little uh, ball end mills work good for uh, getting in and around the toes and uh, underneath of. The legs and around the, the mouth cutting the eyes in stuff like that And once I got it done, I uh, used some, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, Craig screws, uh, but I used the, the little jig that they have for uh, drilling holes for their screws and then uh, fastening the top on with it. And I'm putting a uh, Helmsman spar varnish on it. This is some old stuff that I had that was uh, starting to get a little bit thick in the can, so trying to use it up on that log. I'm using a uh, clear satin. Uh, it's not a high gloss. I didn't want it to show fingerprints and stuff like that, so it turned out pretty nice. Okay, well we got the uh, little end table done. You can kind of see the bottom of it there. A little, a little bit of a mushroom thing somewhere in there. And uh, this is the top of it. I like how it turned out. This is just uh, set beside a, uh, in a very limited space in the camper. Uh, inside the couch, a little end table. And uh, I think it'll work awesome. So uh, if you like the video, Give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.